Now, an Eyewitness News follow-up to a story we first reported yesterday. We've learned of at least one additional case of a parent claiming to have found needles in their children's Halloween candy. Yesterday, we talked to a Pawtucket woman who says she also discovered a needle in a candy bar. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen went back to Pawtucket Police today for an update on their investigation. He joins us now live in our studio with the latest. Well, Mike, police told me today they've recovered that wrapper from the candy and they're now trying to get fingerprints off of it. And police say there were no other needles found in any of the other candy pieces from that Pawtucket family stash from Halloween. A Pawtucket police investigation enters day two. The focus is this sewing needle inserted into a Snickers bar. I took the candy out of my mouth and I noticed something silverish. So when I bent the candy back, I saw a sewing needle in it. Bridget Burns says she bit into the Snickers bar Monday morning after pulling it out of her daughter's trick or treat bag. Authorities told me today they found the wrapper and spotted a small hole in it that suggests the needle was inserted through the package. They say there's no reason to believe this is a hoax and they're taking it seriously. If anybody can do that to another child, then apparently they're not right in their head. And authorities are also looking into other needle and candy claims throughout the country in Springfield, Massachusetts and Pennsylvania. And CNN reports this case in Arkansas. Pawtucket police say they've spoken with many of the people in the neighborhood that handed out candy to Bridget's kids, but have no leads in the case. And Bridget, her husband, and their four-year-old child who collected that candy piece on Halloween all gave statements to police today. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.